All right. Good evening here on the Central River Hawks YouTube channel. I'm Joel McCall visiting now with Tad Peterson. He is the head coach for the Central River Hawks girls and boys cross country teams. They've had a busy start to their season too. Just had their first meet last Saturday. Uh, first of all, coach, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Joel. You bet. Well, you can kind of talk a little bit about the, the cross country season thus far. You did have that meet on Saturday, but I'd like to go over a couple of little things prior to talking about that meet. And that is uh, just your overall numbers, how things have gone. You've had some great weather. Uh, just talk about your practices and whatnot. And who do you have out this year? Yeah. So um, really fortunate. Uh, we welcomed back the majority of our uh, team from last season. So, uh, we did lose, uh, a few runners, but the majority of our varsity girls and varsity boys team are back with us today. And we're also really fortunate. We added five ninth grade runners and then two ninth grade runners on, on our boys side, sorry, five ninth grade runners on our boys side and two, uh, ninth grade runners on our girls side. And we also added two ninth, uh, 10th grade girls. So we increased our team size, uh, for both our boys and our girls teams, which is great. Uh, right now we're sitting at 24 members, uh, which is the largest team that we've had in six years. Uh, so there are other teams out there that are bigger, uh, but T Central is definitely uh, heading toward in the right direction as far as team growth is concerned. So we're excited about that. Um, yeah, so this will be my seventh year at the helm of the central cross country teams and really excited for everything that this year holds. Um, really excited to be back with just a, a just a unique group of student athletes and really hardworking team. Um, I can't say enough about their work ethic. They are, you know, they put in those miles during summer running. Um, we reintroduced, um, and I don't know if this is something that central had done in the past or not, but we reintroduced a uh, summer running club and this year we we set out goals for each of our groups. So our, our incoming group, um, we set out goals for 175 miles. For our second and third year students, we set out goals for 250 miles. And then for our uh, fourth years, we set out goals for 300 miles. So really proud to say we have over eight students on our team that were able to achieve 200 miles or more, which is wow. phenomenal. Um, like just, just to say, and just to express like how much hard work these student athletes have put into the season already, the, the work that they did over the summer is, is wonderful. So really proud to coach these uh, young boys and girls and just showcase their talent um, as we go compete in meets throughout Western Wisconsin. Yeah, that's fantastic. Numbers are up. The work ethic is there. Uh, and then with the numbers up, you know, then you got to worry about slots for your teams too. You yeah. know, now you got, uh, now you got some problems coach when you finish well, the, yeah, that, that line, you got to put your team together. That's right. So competition is good in cross country. So uh, we're allowed to carry seven boys and seven girls for our varsity team. And then, you know, we want to see that competition there. We want to see them uh, working hard and fighting for those spots to be on our varsity team. And then, you know, fielding a complete JV team and being able to participate in those meets in that way is great too. Uh, earning those team points and and getting some uh, time on your feet, just having that experience participating in whether you're participating as a varsity team member or junior varsity team member, all of our student athletes get to participate in cross country. Uh, so they all run at each meet, which I think is phenomenal. Um, we're not one of those teams where there's individuals uh, riding the bench. Um, everybody gets to, to participate. And that's one of the things that I love about being a coach of this sport. Um, I get to see them work really hard at practice. And then that that practice pays off when we get to our meets. Yeah, they get, the, they get rewarded then for that hard work. And what yeah. have you seen... Awesome. Right. <laughs> also hard work being <laughs> rewarded with hard work, but yes, it's uh, good. What have you seen from some of your top returners then? How's their progress um, over the summer and the progression now? Yeah, I think um, one of the things that I think is most important, particularly for, I'd probably say like our top four uh, boys, our top four girls is really um, that dedication 
uh, really taking the time. We do have a summer running program. Um, student athletes get together and meet at Myrick Park over the summer. And then there are mo- oh, quite a few of them run together. Um, and then they also have a essentially a calendar to follow. Um, so advice that I give them about how much they should run and, and uh, how often they should run. Okay. Uh, and I think this year, again, going, going back, so we haven't really had this number of student athletes in about six years. Um, and I think we really had a great turnout for summer running. Um, and it's just that I think we finally gotten over the hump of that C word. I don't want to say it. I said, I wouldn't say it this year. So I'm just going to call it the C word. I think we finally gotten over that hump where student athletes are, are really coming out now and, and really, uh, giving themselves back to athletics, um, and taking those chances. And I think that's great. I think that's great for, uh, them as individuals for their own mental, social, and emotional growth. So it's nice to see that. Um, and I'd say with that comes this responsibility of, okay, well, I have these goals that I'm going to set for myself. Now, how do I go and get those goals? So had a, had some chances, uh, to talk with some student athletes already in our, on our varsity teams, both our boys and girls and talking about goal setting and what do we want to get out of this year? And then what do we need to do to do that? You know, it's one thing to say, I want to run this speed at this meet, but what else do we need to do? How do we need to structure our workouts? How do we need to uh, make sure that we're getting enough rest and getting enough nutrition. Um, so I love having those conversations and been lucky to have some of those already this season. Well, it's good to have your returners, you know, some of those returners back that are going to lead your program. And how did they do then at Maple Grove? Did you see some PRs? Yeah. So we actually, uh, the, our ladies program. So we were led by our two ninth grade finishers, uh, Kaylin Torkelson and Charlotte Yard. Um, and they were they were joined um, by other team members, um, Minna Cruzan, May Mettinger, McKenna Klingelhofer, Maggie Mock, Chloe Wynn, Bryn Bossard, another one of our new students, um, Ever Grabhorn. It was a her first five k. Uh, so we had uh, our ladies finished fourth out of twelve teams. It was their best finish at this meet in six years. Uh, wow. So. We're, we're so we have some so we have some speed we have some growth um it's wonderful and one of the things uh we talked about when we did our team recap was you know let's let's harness this energy and also let's understand that this is just the beginning so we have a, a wonderful start to our season there's a long season ahead of us uh, we have seven more meets until our sectional meet um and you know, we have so much knowledge from our juniors and senior leaders on our team. Um, and we have a lot of growth coming from our freshmen and our sophomores. So combining those two forces, I think, is going to be really powerful for our ladies this season. Well, that's fantastic. Then fourth out of 12. How yeah. about on the boys yeah. side then? Yeah, on the boys side. So uh, our team score showing wasn't as great. Uh, we had a couple individuals who were out for personal reasons. Um, we also had a uh, two student athletes who are out for reasons of injury. So we weren't able to run our full boys team. Um, that being said, uh, our top two runners, so Lyndon Torkelson and Jacob Frisia, both had a lifetime PR. So they ran their fastest that they've ever run for our team uh, last Saturday, which is phenomenal. Um, and then we were also led by a, a real great group of, of runners, some of whom had had experience, um, Isaiah Yard and Colin Ogle. Um, Dawson Miles, Jacob Frisia, and then those gentlemen were joined by our first year group too, uh, Theron Hamilton, Cole Hasberg, and Ty Eriksmoen. So Ryan Wilder was also in that group. Uh, he came out and he is a ninth grade student. I believe he finished third for our team. So a really, really great showing for first year, our first year runners. Um, and really what that tells me is there's a lot that we know and there's a lot that we don't know. Um, I'm really excited for what we don't know because I think there's so much potential on our team this year. So I'm excited for our next meet, which is Viroqua. We'll be running out there tomorrow on Thursday afternoon. Um, and this will really be the first time that we'll have our full boys team and our full girls team competing. So excited to see what they're able to do tomorrow. Yeah, it's awesome that you have everybody back too. Then I was just going to ask you, how is everybody feeling? Then sounds like yeah, the, the team feels pretty good. D- 
definitely the the first two weeks uh, are what we consider our building phase. Um, so we get a lot of student athletes that come into our season that are trained, that have been running over the summer, um, that have been doing what they need to do to compete in a 5K. And then we get a lot of student athletes too that also um, maybe aren't as familiar with the program or maybe didn't get an opportunity to take advantage of uh, working as runners over the summer. So the first two weeks of the season for us is really what we call a build phase. So just trying to get everybody used to running six days a week. Uh, we are a six day a week sport, uh, which is pretty unique. Um, so we run Monday through Saturday. Um, often we have our meets on Saturdays, but if we don't have meets on Saturdays, we still have our practices. So getting students used to that atmosphere is important as well. Yeah. And I know you've, you run all over the place. You've got all kinds of different, uh, areas that you guys like to run and, and practice, which is great. You've had fantastic weather. You mentioned that your meet is tomorrow. I was just looking up. I wanted to make sure I got the time right. So if you saw me, uh, I got a little brighter there for a moment. That's because I was trying to check out the conference website, <laughs> the boys and uh, girls for the river Hawks tomorrow. will run at five o'clock. Uh, so, or is that girls or is that boys and girls, yep. right? That's boys yep, so the girls. girls will run at five and the boys will run at five forty-five. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get at here at the, uh, Vernon County fairgrounds. That's where yep. your location is. So, uh, and again, we're supposed to have great weather tomorrow. I did see a chance for some scattered showers, but I think those are late, right? I saw that too. Um, uh, I heard that president Biden's going to be in Westby. I'm yes. pretty sure he's in control of the weather. So I don't think we have to worry about it. I think, I think the president will take care of that for that's us. True. He'll, he'll, Clear he'll wipe it off. Yeah, yeah, it'll just be great. get the eraser and just go out there and like, oh, it's gone. That's exactly right. I I think that comes with <laughs> presidential power. Well, I hope that you guys have great weather and that you are able to do your cross country meet tomorrow. Uh, and Tad, I know that we're going to have to talk several more times because I know you have other meets coming up. So really want to keep an eye on the cross country team. It sounds like you have a ton of pot uh, potential for the year. You hit on a that right before uh, I was going to ask you about that, but you hit on it. So uh, coach Peterson, best of luck to you and the river Hawks moving forward. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Joel. We really appreciate it. Go river Hawks. All right. That's Tad Peterson. Then the head coach for the central river Hawk girls and boys cross country. As you uh, heard him say five o'clock tomorrow at the uh, Vernon County fairgrounds is the uh, girls and the boys start around five 45. We have volleyball for you tomorrow too, as the, the girls are hosting Aquinas. And so we will cover the JV and varsity of that. Uh, the varsity will have the play by play by me and uh, Nami with whatever he adds to the table uh, coming up uh, tomorrow around seven o'clock. For uh, Coach Peterson, I'm Joel McCall. Thank you so much for tuning in here on the Central River Hawks YouTube channel.